Hey you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my vlog channel. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick update because a few big things are happening, uh, not only on this channel, but on Roads Untraveled as well. Behind me, as you can see, my MR2. Uh, she is in the best shape that she's ever been in. In the last two and a half years, I've owned uh, this particular MR2. I am going down with my business partner, Grayson, of Roads Untraveled to LA tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, in about 12 hours from now, we'll be heading down uh, across the border into the United States of America and driving to Los Angeles. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick rundown of the car, what I've been up to on it recently to get it prepped for this month long road trip um, and the two day drive down there. Uh, the car is in great working order. What I basically did recently was the turbo was leaking oil. So I replaced the stock hard lines on the turbo with stainless steel flex lines. So basically that uh, that seemed to have fixed the problem, which is very good. Um, you can't really see them, but that's the turbo downpipe there, catless downpipe. Um, and it is pretty much a bone stock Gen 3 3S GTE. Uh, it has a billet wheel in the CT20 turbo and uh, a boost controller. It's got a standalone plug and play Link G4 ECU. And that's about it. It's running about 286 wheel horsepower right now. Uh, but as you can see, only the essentials I'm packing for LA. Um, this is basically my entire life in the trunk of my car. I've got, yeah, a suitcase, an M, lovely M duffel bag, which is pretty cool. Um, and my longboard, because we're staying in Marina Del Rey right by the beach, which is pretty sick if you ask me. And then, as you guys can see, you would think, oh, hey, Marcus, what the heck else are you gonna fit in here? Well. You've got room for, obviously, some candy up there. You've got room for your sunglasses in there. More room, too. I've still got to pack a few things. But for the most part, my car is pretty much good to go and packed. Um, for those of you who don't know, a lot of people actually put sub boxes back here. So the base of the sub box goes like to here, and you can fit like a 12-inch woofer in there. Um, but so you can fit like a backpack or a Pelican case or something. And then basically here is a lot of our podcast studio. And uh, down there it goes quite a bit deeper actually it goes down right to the floor there um, and that's again on the other side has the same thing so check out the front of the car here yes I do have you know a couple uh, imperfections in the paint that I will get sorted out before I sell the car but here you guys want to check this out that's what you stick in there I've got uh, spare tire uh, first aid kit and my helmet <laughs> just in case I run into a situation where I want to hit the track or something um, but yeah that's that's basically how she stands right now and uh, you know here I am thinking I'm going to LA for the nice sunsets and there's one beautiful one happening right now but all right you guys what is going on welcome back to the channel um, we are in, we're just past Portland, Oregon, driving down to Los Angeles. Uh, we're gonna try to get to Redding, California tonight. Just filled up in gas. It's weird here in Oregon because it's like state law that all gas stations are full serve. And then you have to like tip the employees. It's like, why? It's so annoying. <laughs> it's just weird. Um, but anyways, we got through Washington in a couple hours. Um, British Columbia, and then we got all the way through Washington. And then now we just gotta get through passed into California, that's our goal tonight, get into California in one day, and then basically drive from the northern tip of California to the, to LA, the southern tip of California, um, tomorrow morning. So let's get to Redding, and uh, we'll see you there. If you haven't driven through Washington and Oregon, I highly suggest it. Uh, we're just kind of blazing through, but there are a lot of really cool stops that you can take. We stumble upon an AutoZam AZ1 here in California. How far away from LA do you think we are? A couple hours? Yeah, still three hours though. Three hours? Oh my god, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> we drove 12 hours yesterday, and then another, what, like four or five already today. Oh man. Oh, this is cool though. Pretty similar color actually, to the MR2. Not too far off. Did you import it yourself? Or? Uh, company in Washington. Oh, sweet, nice. 
So they've done a few of them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just basically specialize in K cars. Right. Oh, really? So yeah. like Honda Beats and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The only one we haven't filmed is a cappuccino. I've never actually seen one of those in person I before. I was thinking about getting all three. Oh, really? I almost bought <laughs> That would be a sick collection, to be honest. Yeah. It's like the APCs. Yeah. All right, you guys, if you cannot see behind me, that is an AutoZam AZ1. We, uh, we saw it on the freeway. Uh, he is actually, he's got Washington plates on it. He's actually from Sacramento, California, and he's going down to LA, uh, same with us, uh, to get it smogged so that basically he can just get his California plates. And they keep it for like a month or more. Sometimes it could be like up to a year, but. So Tyler was saying it should only take like a month or two to get smogged uh, and approved by the state ref for registration in California, but it could take up to like a year. And they gotta hack up through the catalytic converter and everything and basically like get to know, in quotes, the vehicle um, so that they can get it approved for pretty much the most, <laughs> the most, uh, well, a very liberal state, but very, uh, you know, Pro environment. Let's kill. You know. Let's beef up all the catalytic converters and get all the electric cars on the road. Get all the gasoline-powered ones off the road. So, super cool that we were able to see a uh, AutoZam AZ1. And uh, yeah, it was pouring rain for the entire first half of the day. It's about 1:30 in the afternoon. Driving for about six hours today, and we're about three hours out from Los Angeles. We are getting close. And he said there's only three in California right now, so that's pretty cool. So we'll see you guys in a bit. And just like that, we made it to LA here in Marina Del Rey, California. And I was going to say sunny Marina Del Rey, but it's pouring rain. Yeah, usually it's kind of like that. We brought the rain. Two years ago, I was here for a couple of days and uh, LA had their biggest flood in the last few years, uh, within the two days I was there for. And then this year, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm tomorrow and then it'll be sunny for an entire the entire month we're here. And that's why we come down here to LA. That is, without a doubt, if someone asks me, uh, which I do get, you know, my friends and other people are like, hey, why do you guys go down go down to LA? Vancouver's a great city. And yes, Vancouver is an amazing city and I love it there. Uh, but in terms of cars, driving cars, modified cars, expensive cars, you kind of need a dry climate. And LA is dry all of the time. It's sunny except for these two days. Um, <laughs> I put up my flags. Um, not sure why, I guess the wall was a little bit bare. I just brought them, you know. Why not put them up? Something of the backdrop. Uh, for if we shoot anything. This is our mobile podcast setup. So we have the Roland uh, OctaCapture here. It is a small audio interface, very simple to use, just a USB system. Um, we have four channels for headphones. We do have, these are our two mics that we just kind of leave set up. And then we do have um, a, another mic, a shotgun, and then a couple of lav mics. But that's basically the setup. All the cables are like hidden under here. And that makes it super easy to keep the podcast studio uh, studio up and running for an entire month without having to set up the podcast studio every time we want to record a show. Uh, calendar to keep ourselves uh, in somewhat of a schedule. Grayson's workstation over there. My workstation over here. Wow, my monitor's crazy dirty. And that is our balcony. I want to say Venice Beach is maybe a 10 minute drive away. I mean walk, sorry, <laughs> a 10 minute walk. It's very close, you just have to get out of Marina Del Rey, which is huge, an absolutely huge marina. Uh, we still, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely gonna go walk around and check out some yachts and sailboats and stuff. And uh, I got some interesting people to meet up with, interesting cars to drive that I'm not gonna spoil yet, because nothing, nothing is ever set in stone until it happens, until you're there doing it. That's it. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Feels good to be back in LA. The drive sucks, honestly. The drive from Sacramento to LA is the most boring thing in the entire world. Uh, it's just flat and straight and boring and everybody just hogs the left lane. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, and there was nothing to look at because it was pouring right. But anyways, we will see you soon. And uh, yeah, check out the podcast. We'll be doing that lots. See you guys next time.